بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم 5090 اولگ بایولوجی جون 23 کوسچن پیپر 41 اینڈ دس از دا کوسچن 2 which is going to be discussed very short question i'm sorry but we had to do another video on this now uh, in this in this video we're going to discuss the question 2 which is a very small question very few marks but not uh, in, uh, not a very it's it's, it's a very important uh, not something which we can take casually figure 2.1 is a photograph of a small animal that is an external shell shell p a b body in the space below make a large drawing of the animal large drawing of the animal and its shell as shown in figure 2.1 do not include the surface detail of the body of the animal so we don't have to do the surface detail now let's try to make it now i'm trying to make it because i can't i'll have to just move it a little bit and so that i can see it so i'll draw it for you but please remember drawings are not supposed to be so i always uh, tell you give you a little clue on how to do it is that you just uh, trace it out so you just trace it out you see this this 1 2 3 4 and all this and then it's going down like this and then it's going here and then there is this structure here and then there is this structure here and then we have something here and then we have something here and then we have so this is what you're going to draw this is the easiest that i can think of is helping you is to just just trace it with a pencil and then draw that outline on the space but of course remember this space entirely should be filled it should be a big diagram as big as this i'm going to draw a small one because i've got to look at it and i probably can't do it without looking at it so i'm just going to draw a small one but then you need to draw a big one now it doesn't look so good but i mean i know uh, it will probably get me 4 out of 5 and this so five marks for it as you can see here uh, this is for five marks and it should of course my diagram should have covered at least your diagram should have covered at least this part of it as i told you i couldn't have done that now what are the five marks for number 1 clear and clean lines are drawn with a sharp pencil and no shading so clear clean lines minimum size there's a minimum size which we specified in the mark schemes then detail of the snail body then details of the shell so you had to make the details of the shell the shell had all those details which i have given you here so you have to give you the details of the shell and the realistic proportion of the shell and the body so you see if you look at this how big it was this much was the shell and this much was the body so that should have been a realistic proportion you can't say if this was 1 cm so this was about 5 cm so it was five times bigger than this part so give a very good proportion to it be very careful in doing it maybe you can do a little measure and you can do it don't don't take very long on it because you don't want to spend the whole thing on it we only got one hour to do this paper so be very careful in doing this it says realistic proportion of shell and body so you have to get this a little right I think there's there's a little mistake here now. Let me let me just make it a little better because I feel it should have the neck part is a uh, a little here. It should start from here. So I feel there's you see there is this this part here. There should have been a V here. so just improvise rub it use a pencil do not use a pen because then you can't rub it off so use a pencil rub it off but don't do too much rubbing and make a mess of it you see you've got to realize in the mark scheme it says detail of snail body and detail of the shell so if you did draw those details only then you're going to get the marks for it otherwise you're not going to get the marks for it if you just do a very generalized drawing so detail of the snail body and detail of the shell was part of the mark scheme points so if you have given me the details of the shell like here and like you see here and then you see in this part so all that needed to be given
magnification it says one decimal place was 2.2 uh, what are the two marks for the measurements in b1 divided by the measurements b2 divided by the measurements in b1 b2 was what b2 was this measurement of this 100 over b1 and correct magnification to one decimal place so did you show me this part you got a mark for that and then you got a mark for this so even if you wrote 2.2 which was the correct answer but it, you didn't show me this and i'm sorry i'm not going to give you two marks i'll only give you one mark so measurement in b2 divided by the measurement in b1 that's exactly what the mark scheme is saying so you have to be very careful whenever you're reading the question always read it very carefully now if you read it very carefully these some children have developed very good habits i love some children who will always be very careful about this and i want you all to develop that habit so use your measurements in b1 and b2 to calculate the magnification of your drawing compared to the photograph give your answer space for working So you had to show me all this otherwise how was i going to give you these two marks so everybody has to be very careful in doing this paper this paper was uh, this was a second question which was only for 10 marks but remember you had 1 hour to finish this paper so you couldn't have spent a lot of time on the first question and then no time on this question because i know the drawing would have taken you a lot of time as well so since you had to spend some time on the drawing it takes a little bit of while to get it right the proportions right of the snail so thank you very much and all the very best